So you probably clicked on this video because you want to know about the Lenovo 710S IdeaPad. And if you're like me, you will realize that there isn't a lot of information out there about people's actual experience using this computer, this laptop. So this is why I'm making this video. Now, I don't have any endorsement or anything from Lenovo. Uh, this was just the laptop that fit my budget and I thought I would give it a shot. And I'm pretty, uh, overall, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this laptop. So the first thing is that this laptop is very, very light. So this was the old laptop that I was using and we're just gonna compare the weights of these. This is also a 13 inch. So the old one is 1.8 kilos, and the Lenovo is sitting at 1.1 kilos. So pretty significant. Now the model I went with uh, has the i7. It also has the Intel integrated graphics, the uh, 520. So I needed something light to travel with, and I picked this up just before I went to uh, Palawan and the Philippines, and it was great. All I brought for my trip was this backpack, and this laptop fit nicely inside the laptop compartment. And I had just my laptop and all my clothes and my camera and all my camera lenses. So it'll fit, fit in this bag and I could take it around and my backpack only weighed about, I guess, like six, seven kilos. So very nice. Now I do some basic video editing on this. And so far it's handled the videos fine. And I'm editing 1080p videos with Premiere. And generally, like, it might take a little long to uh, render stuff compared to a desktop computer but for what it is for the price and the lightness of it it's pretty it does a pretty good job of handling video you can also do some light gaming on I uh, run overwatch with the minimum graphics on and I still get about 60 frames a second and the gameplay is fine so the graphics are a little bit you know on the lower end but it's not a gaming lap uh, laptop I really like the SD card reader on it but it only has two USB 3 ports. So I would like to see this with a Thunderbolt port. The brightness and colors of the screen are pretty good and just a little bit under the, uh, the Dell XPS 13, but you're paying a lot less for this one. So there, there you go. The keyboard is also quite nice. The trackpad is okay and usable, but I normally use a mouse anyway. The speakers are pretty much what you would expect for a laptop. They're decent, not the best, not the worst. I'll give you a little demo. So in all, I've been pretty happy with it in the three or so months that I've owned it now. And I would recommend it if you're looking for a laptop to suit your needs at a lower end to the you know, super high performance laptops like your MacBook Pro, your XPS 13. And if you still want something light, I was thinking about getting the uh, gaming laptops, but they're just too big to actually take around when you're traveling and when you're living overseas. So if you're like me, then I would definitely recommend this one. Thanks for watching the video and like and subscribe if you want to check out some of my other videos. I cover a wide range of topics, so you might find something that you actually enjoy yourself.